Hello Twin Flames, it's Friday, Magical Fabulous Friday and we're going to do a Divine Masculine Daily Check-In today. Now I am going to use three decks of cards, they're guiding me to, these ones are just looking at me. So we're going to bring in the Divine Masculine and the Dark Truths, the Ask the Oracle and the Hermit Tarot. So this will really tap us into what we need to know on this day. So if you're a feminine cross watching, it's going to give you guidance about how he's feeling today and what he's going through emotionally and physically too in his real and his 5D world. If you are a masculine, it's going to give you an insight into why you're experiencing what's going on right now. So thank you, Angel. So what do we need to know for the masculines, please? On this fabulous, magical Friday, what do we need to know? What's going on? What's the energy? So doing a lot of deep thinking. Wow, I miss you. I miss talking to you. That's why sometimes we can talk for hours in person or on the phone. I don't want our time together to end, no matter how it seems to you. He's missing you, Divine Feminine. He's thinking about all those times you've had conversations and he may have cut you off abruptly or blocked you or disappeared when all he really wanted to do was talk to you for hours and hours and hours. And I'm really picking up on that. So, you know, he's saying we can talk for hours. Because you can, because you have that energy. You know, before me and George come into union, we could have conversations for hours and hours. In fact, when we were talking on Snapchat, his voice was so soothing to me when he was videoing me. It would make me fall asleep and he'd be thinking, where's she gone? You know, where's she gone? And he, his voice just soothes me. Even now, you know, when we're falling asleep at night, he can be talking to me. And I just go because his voice is very soothing to me. And he's thinking about all of this. I miss talking to you. He misses having normal conversations with you about normal day-to-day -day things that, you know, normal couples talk about. He's missing the friendship that you guys share because, you know, you are best friends, united in love. So even though you have that amazing attraction and passion for each other, you know, in that intimate time together, the conversations make it, the friendship makes it. That's the glue that holds a relationship together. You know, George is my lover, but he's also my best friend. And that's one thing the masculines miss the most. Just sharing that time and being open and also having your love and support because you support them in their life. You support them on their journey. You know, you are their light and their muse and their inspiration. And their life works better with you in it. So that's what they miss too. And the real feeling is that's what I'm feeling. So, you know, we can talk for hours in person or on the phone and I don't want our time together to end, no matter how it seems to you. So if they've cut you off abruptly, you know, or they've just blocked you or you're not communicating right now, they don't intend to do that. They go into fear. It's very overwhelming for them. And he wants to be able to talk to you and talk to you and talk to you and be open and honest and be vulnerable and express himself. He doesn't want to have to shut down the call or, you know, walk away from you or, you know, go home to his karmic partner, any of those things. He wants the conversation, the time together, the intimacy to go on and on. And that's what he's dealing with today. So I feel there could be some tears for the masculine today. There could be some tears coming in. Look how they've just jumped out of the deck. So the energy coming through, we've got time to ground yourself. So the masculine needs to ground himself today. So masculine, if you're watching this, if you're missing your twin, if you're feeling very emotional because I feel you are, and when you deal with this energy, you know, some of you will cry tears, some of you will get angry and jealous and frustrated and you can act crazily, okay? punching walls, doing strange things, it says I'm a very jealous person when it comes to you. So even if you don't think your masculine is jealous, when it comes to you, it makes them rage, you know, because they're missing you. And they understand as well that they wouldn't have a reason to be jealous if you were together. And they blame themselves for that too, because sometimes they are the one that gets in their own way. You know, and they are thinking, wow, well, you know, you could be spending your time with anybody because I've pushed you away. And he has to deal with that. So he's got to ground himself. And I do feel he's in his head today. They're giving me nausea in the head. Okay. Feeling, oh, like tension headaches, feeling overwhelmed because in a lot of heat, which is connected with passion and fire and 
kind of eruption energy like the volcanic energy erupting within that so because they're missing you they're in the head thinking about what you're doing who you could possibly be spending time with and they need to ground themselves so masculine the message for you is go in nature okay pick up a rock or a stone or a crystal that will ground you because you're up in your head you know and this is how we are during this aquarius season because we're up in our head we can be dealing with irrational fears and irrational thinking but he's saying to you you know oh i can't believe i've done this to us and you may be with someone else and you know divine feminine you know full well that you were unlikely to be with anybody else but it doesn't stop the masculine thinking he's and when they're jealous, they get angry, they get mad, they cry tears because they need to do that to release the emotion. Sometimes they can't cry, they're holding it all in. So they get angry, you know, angry tears coming out. It says they're waiting for you. So, he, you know, this is about the masculine realizing this. And I feel this is what you need to hear, divine masculine, because if you're jealous right now, if you're thinking irrationally about your twin, thinking that she or he is with somebody else, they're waiting for you. But they're not waiting for you, as in waiting around, sitting around, not doing anything. They get offers too. You know, I'm addressing the divine masculine here, okay? They get offers too. You know, their light shines out. And I know that you know that because you're so attracted to them too. You want to spend all your time with them. Even though you find, you know, sometimes you feel that you can't or you find you can't. You don't want the conversations to end. So you're jealous because you're thinking, are oh, you having a conversation or giving your time and energy to someone else that's not me? So he needs to ground himself. And the message for the masculine is they're not with anybody else because they're waiting for you to pull your socks up and get this done. But don't think they're waiting around and that you can take, you know, a hundred years to get it done because you can't. We've got this love scares me. So the masculine is afraid of this love. They feel vulnerable with you and they're getting shown again the 11, 11, 11. And that's why they can, you know, this yeah, nah energy. And this came up yesterday. So masculines, you know, if you're iffing and aring about what to do, you know, you're unsure if you're behaving indifferently towards your feminine, perhaps because you're jealous or this love is scaring you, the angel is saying to you, speak your truth because love is always the answer. This love is the answer. And this is so powerful because these cards jumped out. They needed to be set. And these cards came out yesterday in the Daily Twin Flame reading. Or it was in a pick apart. I think it was in the Daily Twin Flame reading. But love is the answer. And the angels want you to understand that. So for both of you, love is the answer. If you're missing each other and you're being guided to stay on the phone, stay on the phone. They're giving me fear. Don't let fear creep in. You know, don't bring up fear or fearful thoughts or dredge up the past. Just be in the now and enjoy because love is always the answer. So the energy, I've got extra cards here, but the energy around the masculine right now is they don't want to be indifferent anymore. They're feeling jealous, all these energies, and it's just because he misses you. So if he's acting crazy, if he's being indifferent, so he's either going to be acting crazy jealous or he's going to be indifferent he loves and misses you and that's what he's dealing with today. So look at this. What holds you back? We've got the word compassion. Okay. Compassion. Or it says comparisons. But they're giving me the word compassion. So comparisons. Again, jealousy. The masculine feeling like they're not good enough. Or that somebody else will make you happy. Or that person you're spending time with is the one that you want. So he's compar comparing himself with others. Okay. He's comparing himself. And it scares it. So have compassion, divine feminine, because he's going through a lot right now. He's up and he's at. It says, focus on your strengths. Learn to love yourself more. It's time for a social media detox. Wow. And what I'm feeling with this too is, masculines, you know, they may come off social media today because they're jealous. You know, they may, if they're blocking you on social media today or they're not around much aren't they? And they don't want to know what you're doing they're afraid of knowing what you're doing because this love is scaring them and they're worried you're with somebody else and all they want to do is talk to you and spend time with you and it's scaring them so they may have a total social media detox they may they may disappear and you may think what's going on so they may delete the profile or not delete it kind of deactivate it 
you know, they just need a break, they log out, they don't want to pay it any attention because they're afraid of what they'll see, they're missing you, they're in that fear, maybe they're afraid they're going to reach out and, you know, it's, well, it's all going to come blurting out and it's not the right time yet because they need to release themselves from something, but it is moving ahead, motorbike, revving up, it is moving ahead because love is the answer, so today he's going to have a social media cleanse and I feel that that could also be wiping away his friends list so he may be deleting people from his friends list he may be deleting things off his profile you know he could even delete off previous posts and things he's put pictures those kinds of things he's he's kind of having a, a cleanse but I do feel this is more about coming off it for the day or not being on it you know or maybe he is on it but he's not letting you know he's on it and we've got why are you in a relationship so this is the focus if he's in a karmic situation he's looking at that why am i in this relationship why you know he's looking at it, he's thinking why i'm jealous about somebody else I, I love somebody else i miss somebody else why am i in this relationship divine feminine you may be asking that question today why is he with that that person why and it says, is your relationship satisfying? So he's looking at that relationship saying, that does not satisfy me. Why am I in it? Do you love your partner? He's looking at that person thinking, well, I'm jealous about someone else and I love someone else. Why am I in this relationship? Do you want to be with someone else? Yes, he does. He wants to be with you. So he knows he isn't stupid. And this is what we have to do. Give our masculine credit. They are being given all the signs. They understand. They know. They just struggle. Look, it's revving up. So he's questioning everything today. Not just the relationship with his karmic partner, but relationships in his life in general because his circle is changing. The relationship he has with his boss, with his colleagues, with his friends, with his family, everything's changing. And he's asking himself the question, why am I in this relationship? Does it make me happy? Is it satisfying me? Do I want to be with someone else? So even when he's with his friends, he's thinking about you. I wish I was talking to you and, you know, spending my time with you and having hours with you on the phone, having hours with you in person, no matter how it seems. So today, Divine Feminine, look through the illusion of what's going on in the 3D world, because in, you know, in the physical and spiritual realms, he's showing you a sign synchronicities that he's missing you. Love is the answer. Love is always the answer. And love will always conquer fear, which means love will always break through. It will always come through for you. So he will do what he's guided to do. There's only so much time you can look at that partner, look at that situation and, you know, and have it driving crazy without him making a change. So love is the answer. Love will always lead to you because all paths lead to love and all paths lead to you. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.